what a great feeling that is to be able to do that in your own house. Um, this is just a quick review and a little bit of explanation of how I set up this soda machine in my house. <laughs> and if you're thinking about doing this yourself, I'll have a little bit of warnings and information about what you need to think about. First of all, uh, the question everybody kind of wants to know, probably um, how much does it cost? It depends, of course, but it's probably going to be at least $2,000 if you want to do this yourself. And maybe as much as like $3,500 or more if you want to get more flavors. Now, I just got a two flavor unit <clears throat> and I ended up getting the countertop electric style, which has the refrigeration unit on the top. So, that's one of the complications of doing soda at your house. You need to have some kind of refrigeration unit that refrigerates the syrup and the soda water coming into the machine because you just you just can't mix warm soda. It just kind of doesn't work. So, I got this unit that sits on top because the unit with the remote chiller would not fit in my cabinet. And I have it sort of mounted diagonally on my counter here at the moment because still not sure if this is going to be the final resting spot for it. But it's been working great and I just wanted to do like quick comparison of the product from this machine and the product from a can which I will open up right now just to show you it's essentially the same thing so there's you can see all right nice red color a little bit maybe a little bit lighter red color might have the mix off a little bit but I'll tell you what it tastes exactly the same um like this one you know even though I poured it what 30 seconds ago this one I can't really tell any difference between those in terms of the taste except the one from the machine has maybe a slightly fresher crisper taste that could be due to my water but we'll get into that. So one of the things that you need in order to have good tasting soda is you need really clean water. So I did have a water softener installed because here in Arizona we got really hard water and I've been hating that for a long time. Been meaning to do that anyway. So I got a water softener but I also got this filter. So this is the workings of the machine underneath currently. Um, but I got this filter here, which is the MC2 filter, and I'll put a link in the video description for this thing. But I had the plumbers hook that up, and uh, while they were hooking up the water softener, and I got like a drain installed in my cabinet here, and I have some plastic as well that's going to fill in this space a little bit and help the drain work. Um, got my CO2 bottle, which I always chain up gas bottles on the bottom also. I might move this up slightly, but I actually saw an acetylene bottle get kicked over by a cart full of engine parts once. It got hit on the bottom and it slid out of the, um, of the chain and it just got caught on this part up here by the top chain. And it was real lucky. So, I always chain these up on the bottom. Definitely chain them up. 
it's in a cabinet so probably never gonna get hit by anything but maybe when you're changing the syrup or something you might have that issue anyway you need that co2 bottle that is it was about 50 bucks at the welding shop where I get my propane and stuff but it was like 15 bucks to get it filled as well so you need that the regulator came from soda dispenser depot where I got my machine I'll put links to all, everything in the video description um, syrup box came from Amazon this time so it was a little bit expensive but there are cheaper sources which I finally found in town we have a restaurant store where the public is invited so I'm gonna be going there but there's my syrup pumps I did have a little bit of trouble running the lines for that because I'm not using one of the syrup pumps at the moment and every time I took that valve off of there it kept leaking CO2 so you gotta be careful of that you really have to test to make sure nothing's leaking but yeah aside from that it's just like a whole bunch of tubes here <laughs> and uh, then there's this carbonator machine as well so that's gonna go on the bottom of the cabinet once I get the plastic in there but it was tricky hooking this up I did have to buy some pieces here to get the water line on and you do need to make sure that you get thick enough water line um, at one point I had a valve in the line here because you need something to flush the filter with um, but that valve was restricting the water flow and it was causing the pump to make sort of a scratchy noise if you hear that yeah that's really not good so go and get yourself a bigger water line uh, people online have reported having that issue so make sure you follow the instructions this is a 3 8 inch interior line but it does have a quarter inch fitting on it seems to be okay um, but yeah that's what you're in for if you want to buy one of these machines um, 2500 bucks or so and then you gotta figure out a way to do this and do it safely and do it right <laughs> which is tricky and I'm not gonna give any advice on that but obviously you're gonna to want to be prepared for possible water leaks possible CO2 leaks and definitely syrup leaks I have a little bit of experience using these machines in restaurants and syrup leaks just seem to be something that you can't avoid even though the system is fairly well designed not to leak it does anyway <clears throat> but yeah what a great thing to have um, it's expensive but it's definitely gonna help me keep from going to the store so much which that's why I really took this like nuclear option here I just got sick of going to the store and risking the coronavirus and everything else when sometimes I was just buying soda not every time but sometimes found myself going to the store just for soda this is kind of a good solution to that I think saves a little bit of money great tasting soda it was a little bit tricky to set up but if you got good plumbers and you're smart about stuff it's not that hard ah great <clears throat>